Hello, my name is Amiandla. I have a PhD in Gender Studies. In this video, we will discuss some really racist comments that I found online. And those comments are about a Hollywood featuring a dark-skinned actress, oh my gosh, for the new Snow White remake. So there are so many negative comments about that. Let's read some of them. Uh, they will appear on the screen. So number one. So the skin color of the actress isn't her name, right? It's common sense that you need a white actress there. So the reference to common sense is extremely ableist and offensive. Who are you to assume that I or anybody else has common sense? You are just discriminating against and erasing the no sense community, which is extremely ugly and insensitive. I'm neurodivergent, so I'm particularly sensitive to comments like that. Before we continue, please hit that subscribe button and share this video with family and friends. This is a new channel and more interesting content is coming up. So let's continue and uh, let's talk about our second comment here. They made Cleopatra black despite her being Greek. Now they're making dark-skinned Snow White. Hollywood just spoils everything they touch. Okay, uh, I just, seriously, what are you talking about, people? The reference to Cleopatra just shows how uneducated you are. Let me tell you something. Cleopatra lived in Africa. And it's obvious that anybody who has ever lived in Africa was black, except for white colonizers. But Cleopatra wasn't a white colonizer because she was black. It's really not complicated. Okay, so moving on, comment number three. Uh, Snow White's beauty is based on the fact that she has pale skin and red lips. To feature a dark-skinned actress here is simply inaccurate. So this is the most racist comment of all of them. Uh, and how about black people? We don't have white skin or red lips. This idea of beauty is grounded in white supremacy and is deeply hurtful and offensive to people of color like me. For those of you who don't know, I am transracial, so I was AWAB assigned white at birth, but my true identity is black. So I'm particularly hurt by racist comments. Those comments, they just break my heart, you know? It just really hurts me to know how many bigots and racists um, are, you know, out there in our country. Like, this is just, it's just so sad. Uh, why are all these bigots and racists just like running loose on the streets? Like, this is just, this should be like that. So, number four, when it comes to the new Snow White remake, Hollywood picked an actress that is dark enough for them to make a point that they're woke, but not too dark for them to appear totally ridiculous. Because the reality is that her name indicates her skin color. If you've never seen Snow, you can just Google it. Oh, really? Very nice, mister, I know everything. No, I don't need to Google Snow, I know what Snow looks like. But I'm not a close-minded, racist bigot like you are. I am an open-minded, educated person, and I will take my precious time to explain things to you. It's not as simple as it seems. Did you know that Alaska natives have 40 different words that stand for snow? Yes, they have a much more developed vocabulary than white people do because snow comes in many different shapes and colors. If you ever observed snow on a sunny day or in the evening, you know that snow could be yellow, orange, or translucent. Besides, we live in the time of global warming caused by burning of fossil fuels. And you know what pollution also does? Pollution makes snow appear black sometimes. Yes, snow can be black. So I think that not only that we need to cast an African-American actress for Snow White, 
we also need to change the name of Snow White to Snow Black and that will fight racist stereotypes about beauty while raising awareness of pollution and climate change. So yes, bigots are right about something. Uh, the actress playing Snow White shouldn't be brown, she should be black. And the name Snow White should be changed to Snow Black. And that's the way to go.